What is good? What anime people? What is good, yo? Guys, Plunderers is pretty amazing as a whole. Um, I don't know what I really expect from this show, but seeing someone finally be taken into the abyss the way that they did and what it kind of did to our main guy ace or leech um i don't know what all of this means but you know i'm ready to see whatever the heck pops off <laughs> um this show definitely has some weird indications in it or just like some overall strange storytelling elements which I don't have a problem with it's just the fact of the matter of we finally see something that Lich has really zero control over which is the abyss and not only that some some strange number within his eyeball so Let's get into it. Um, this week really just kicks off with Lich being caught by our main girl, finally. After all this time of her walking and searching, she went and finally found this man. Again. <laughs> Again. Um, but the problem is, for me, is just how um, much is going to probably pop off in this small instance of him like showing his true weakness I guess you can say like his weakness is something to do with the abyss and for whatever reason after contact with it he had a lot of flashbacks to what he had done probably previously or what he's experienced but the weird part of it all was the fact of um why was he so like tuckered out why was he feeling so exhausted um who was the person he saw in his mind was it his self that he saw you know um these are the types of questions that get brought up just with this little scene of him attacking the abyss arms and really just not having a good time afterwards <laughs> Um, so, like I said, it draws a lot of questions as to who Lich truly is. If maybe he isn't the person who lived all those years, in the case of, um, you know, we believe him to be the ace. And when he even kind of hears it, he's like, nah, what are you talking about? So, I don't know. I really don't know at this point. Um, that's, what, that's what's fun about the show. Is that I don't know. I don't know what's coming here or there. And I look forward to that. Mainly because. The people I've seen. Uh, in this show. Are pretty charismatic. But I think the most. Bubbly. Personality and. Straightforwardness was this new girl. Who wanted to fly. And she had only. Ten attempts to do so until the abyss showed up and took her which again lich is the reason why this kind of happens right like maybe if um, he didn't help her with the design little thing little design part that he wanted to show her you know maybe she wouldn't have been able to finish her you know flight thing as soon um, as she did but at the same time what was really going to stop her from you know flying again and randomly people show up and catch her you know so sooner or later she was going to get caught and executed but that's the problem with this is if he let her fly and her dream came true she would have another number but then it doesn't matter your numbers if you're doing something against the law that's going to get you killed in the long run just for doing it. <laughs> so that's where this story becomes, yet again, a, uh, a trap, as you can say. Um, 
it trapped our main character in a position where regardless of what he did he was doing um, a negative thing like at the end of the day like him trying to destroy the machine so it doesn't work and doesn't you know get her executed but it happened to be her last attempt at falling in her dreams so what happens he destroys that and it's another like nail in the coffin for lich as a character because he just destroyed someone's dream and after destroying it she actually dies you know so i am pretty sure that's uh, weighing heavily on him but at the same time he's not gonna think of it like how i just thought like oh if she would have flew or you know he's still thinking of if she just flew right then and there and didn't get far away <coughs> he's getting executed and he would have had to like he said kill all of them to silence them and instead of doing that he just wanted her to work again on another project and fly but there was no time that was her life that was her last wish her last dream attempt that she had and that's how ridiculously crazy this world is but like i was saying her personality though man i've never seen someone take this like damage you know the way that she just did or this situation and really just kind of like spin it on its head and not really get too afraid of what was going to happen to her because as you can see she is practically dead and gone right like she's straight up lost her life to the abyss and the whole time she's trying to tell them not to cry that it's going to be okay because she doesn't even know what's on the other side ace may know what's on the other side but for her she's like oh this might be another world over here and i might actually be able to follow my dreams and this and that like she's very optimistic even in a time when you know for a fact people all over the world that know about the abyss have not given it any type of happy talks right no one's like oh man i've seen someone going into the abyss and they were so happy about it because they knew they were going to start a new life or something along those lines right um so to know that she's going and maybe will never be seen again is super sad and at the same time it's kind of uh it's kind of good and it's bad because we did need to see or like we needed to at least experience the abyss taking somebody because at this point we just kind of we just kind of had to guess what it would be like and stuff but i think she was also the worst example of someone being taken the abyss because of how she took it all in stride right like any normal person would be screaming their head off trying to fight for life and ask for anyone's help that's in the vicinity while she just accepted it and you know she pretty much guessed that whatever he helped her with it was going to be um capable of flying like she already had succeeded her dream because of the design that he had gave her so it's it's very sad but at the same time i can see the future in this show and at least there's some crazy stuff popping off in it all together. So with all that being said, I hope you guys are having an amazing day, night, evening, whatever the case may be. And I will talk to you in the next one. So with all that being said, take care and peace.